What's up guys, Ryan here from Mudgunner. Today we are officially at 70 videos in a row, which is pretty crazy. I never thought that 70 videos would be doable. I always thought one video a week was hard. So we're at 70. And to show that, I have a 70 year old gun. Well, 72 years old to be specifically. Sorry, buddy. I like almost elbowed him, but I barely touched his nose. That's Loki, we got Harley here. Um, but yeah, this gun's 72 years old. It's a Polish M44 Mosin Nagant, which is pretty cool. So it's got this side folding bayonet. Uh, this doesn't really relate to the video, but this is a gun channel, so I thought I should at least show you guys a gun. But yeah, we're at 70 videos in a row officially, and I'm pretty happy about that because it's been a lot of work so far. I haven't been able to shoot as much as I want, which is kind of unfortunate, but I've really kind of stuck with a video a day. Uh, next weekend, I have to work the gun show, so I'm going to be working 13 days in a row before I have a day off to go shoot. Uh, this past weekend, I had Spartan Race. The weekend before that, I had my Javelina hunt. So I really haven't been able to shoot in about a month and I still got like a couple weeks until I can. So I'm trying to get good content for you guys or at least educational content. Some of it's just entertainment, but I'm trying to have it all relate to the channel in some way. But there's just some videos that are just going to be kind of filler videos. This might be one of them, but I'll give a little bit of education, I guess. So yeah, we're at 70 videos in a row, which is pretty cool to me. Um, I kind of wrote down some growth because my whole point of this year is to grow my channel and just see what I can make of it because YouTube has always interested me. I started the channel back around like 2017 and I just never took it super serious. So I started taking it serious in December. Um, December 13th is when I started posting a video every single day. And I started it mid-December because I thought of it as a New Year's resolution. But I'm like, if I have to wait till New Year's to like start my plan, then obviously I'm probably not going to follow, follow through with it anyway. So I started it as soon as I really wanted to make it happen, which is December 13th. That's why today is 70 videos in a row. And I'm going to, I have like notes here from like last year's growth to what we're at right now. So last year, all of 2023, we had 116,700 views, which right now, uh, well, it's not today, but February 18th is what like YouTube shows me. So as of February 18th for 2024, we're at 321,700 views. So 321,700 for 766 specifically for February in last month compared to 116,700 for all of 2023. And you figure some of those were gonna be from uh, December because that's when I started doing daily. As far as how many hours people watched last year, 4,728 hours of watch time. So as of February 18th, we're at 8,665 for 2024. Last year we had 275 new subs, and this year we're at 1,367 new subs already. And if any of you guys are curious about like YouTube stuff, last year I made $186 for all of 2023, and this year we're at $300 so far. So if you wanna become a YouTuber, I mean, I don't mind sharing those stats. I like the money th side of it, like that doesn't even pay for all the cost of doing it. So I don't mind talking about that stuff, but I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if I want YouTube to be like my career going forward. Like I know I want to work in the gun industry, but YouTube, I just a creative outlet for me and I want to continue it at least. So I'm very committed to doing a daily video for all of 2024, but I don't think as of right now, I don't feel like that's going to be sustainable for my whole life. So just to let you guys know, 2025, I may not do a video every single day, but I'm very committed to it this year. And now I'm not saying I'm just going to give up next year, but I might tone it back a little bit and hopefully get you guys more quality videos. Because right now I'd say it's more quantity. I want it to be more quality, but hopefully they're not too terrible for you guys. I mean, we're, we're seeing growth, so I don't think it's that bad. But yeah, next year, if I, if I can, I'd like to get you know, higher production value, so maybe hire a videographer if I can, get those like really good like cinematic shoots. And yeah, that's something that interests me. I'd like to get to a point where I can do a lot more shooting content for you guys. And it's gonna pick up um, here soon. It's just, February's been kind of a crazy month for me as far as all my weekends go, because my only days to shoot are the weekends. So I'm gonna try to do better at that for you guys. Doing daily videos has been a little tough because it is hard to come up with content every single day that is, you know, what I would say palatable or watchable. Like, I want to produce good content. I don't want it to just be nothing. So if you have, like, specific videos you guys want to see or, or specific topics you want me to talk about, comment them below. I'm always looking for new content ideas. And again, I will be shooting as soon as I can. I'm just kind of limited right now. Um, as far as, like, let's talk about, like, New Year's goals, right? Um... I've never really committed to doing New Year's goals. Like I've always set New Year's goals and I think a lot of people set them with like, you know, the right mindset of like wanting to do it, but it's very hard to follow through and commit because life gets in the way. But yeah, I'm really taking this year serious as far as like the daily videos. And that's why I started 
early December. But comment below with what your guys' New Year's goals were. And if you've still stuck with them, I'd love to see if anyone's like really pushing themselves too. Um, I, again, I understand that life gets in the way, but it's never too late to start back up. So if you kind of gave up on your New Year's goal, we're only in February. You still have all year to make some progress. And for anyone that might want to do a YouTube channel, right? Like, again, this is 70 videos in a row. We've seen a lot of growth. It just shows that you just need to be consistent. I've had a couple people reach out asking how to grow their YouTube channel. And I thought for me, I'm like, well, I'm not the best person to ask because I didn't really do much. Like, so another reason why I did this video is we actually just hit 35,000 subscribers today on the 19th, which is when I'm recording this video. You guys are watching it on the 20th. So that was a pretty cool milestone for me to hit 35,000 subscribers. Again, I started this in 2017. I did have one video that like blew up and hit 11.8 million views. Uh, the title of that video is World's Longest AK-47 Mag. It was my third YouTube video, but my very first gun video. And that blew up and got me about 30,000 subscribers, which was really cool at the time. Um, if you're wanting to do YouTube yourself, just know you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, or at least you did back then when I did it. And I got that pretty fast from that one video, but then it took YouTube a year and a half to monetize my channel. In my head at that time, I felt like that really hindered like my YouTube growth because at the time I was like, oh, I want to do this for a living. And I was young and I was like, oh, like this is what I want to do. But I really like let the lack of monetization stop my growth on that. So that's one thing if you take, if you want to do YouTube yourself, if it takes forever to monetize, don't let that stop your progress because I had so much time. I could have been growing my channel even more. I think if I stuck with it back in 2017 to now, we'd probably have over a million subscribers. But yeah, I really let it slip um, between 2017 to 2023. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, my biggest thing would just be be consistent. Like you don't have to post daily videos like what I'm doing now. Um, you could do once a week, but stick with once a week because I think people want to see um, continued content and myself included. Like when I follow other people or subscribe to their channel, I want to see that they're still posting stuff. Now I don't just unsubscribe from them, but um, if I see someone's only posted a video like once a year, I might just look up their channel and watch it here and there versus actually subscribe because they never post. So just something to think about. So if you're going to do it, really stick with it and don't expect any money from it anytime soon. And I'm not doing this just for like the money. Like it doesn't matter to me that much. Like obviously money's nice, but um, I still work my full time job. I work six days a week right now, plus doing a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm trying to do like my merch brand, which I got these shirts. I haven't posted them on the website yet, but like I'm trying to do other ventures too. So YouTube for me is really just like a fun creative outlet. And if it allows me to, you know, grow my influence in the gun industry, I like, I would appreciate that. So yeah, YouTube's just been a fun side project, but if you guys are looking to get into it, I do think it can be very rewarding and you meet some very cool people. As far as equipment goes, I'm actually filming this on my iPhone. My very first camera was this uh, Sony RX100 Mark V. I bought this camera because this is what Demolition Ranch used at the time. He's probably on like a newer version of this. Uh, this white stuff up top is just fuzz to stop the wind, but you don't need, and this was a thousand dollar camera at the time. You don't need to buy a thousand dollar camera if chances are if you have an iPhone or a Samsung or whatnot, like your phone record, like my phone records better than this thousand dollar camera and people stay on top of new phones more than they stay on top of new cameras. So record with your phone. As far as my mic goes, this is a Rode Wireless Go 2. I started using this mic after watching Administrative Results channel and like I like the audio from his. Um, so $250 mic set plus my iPhone, that's all I need, plus my stand, which was like 70-ish dollars. So you don't necessarily need a lot of money to like start a YouTube channel. You just need commitment and then um, just, I think, decent ideas. Like you can brainstorm, but yeah, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just do your own take on it because I'm sure I'm doing videos that other people have already covered, but people like seeing different opinions. So kind of going on a rant here, but yeah. For anyone that wants to do YouTube, it's very fun and just stay on top of it. But yeah, other than that, guys, again, we're at 70 videos in a row. I'm going to go all 2024. So if you have any videos you'd like to see, I'd love to see them in the comments and I'll try to see if I can make that happen. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video.